Welcome to an enlightening journey into the world of positive behavioral interventions and supports, or PBIS. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is PBS? Simply put, it's a proactive approach to establish the behavioral supports and social culture needed for all students in a school to achieve social, emotional, and academic success. This approach is important in the educational setting because it promotes positive behavior while reducing disruptive behavior. Imagine a classroom where students are engaged, respectful, and motivated to learn. That's the power of PBIS. Um, it's like a magic wand that transforms the school environment into a positive and a productive one. It's not just about addressing bad behavior, but encouraging good behavior. And the best part, it benefits everyone, students, teachers, and the entire school community. Now that we have an understanding of what PBS is, let's delve into how it's implemented in our schools. Implementing PBIS in schools is not a one size fits all approach. It requires careful planning and strategizing. And this is where we delve into the various strategies for successful implementation. First off, PBIS should be a school-wide approach. This means every corner of the school, from the classrooms to the cafeteria to the playground, should reflect positive behavioral expectations. It's all about creating an environment that encourages good behavior and reduces disciplinary issues. Next, we can't underestimate the importance of staff training. Teachers, administrators, and support staff all need to be on the same page about what PBS means and how to implement it consistently. Training should be comprehensive and ongoing, providing staff with the tools they need to reinforce positive behavior. Let's talk about consistency. Consistency is key in PBS. This means that the same behavioral expectations are enforced all the time by all staff members. Students should know what's expected of them no matter where they are in the school or who they're interacting with. And finally, let's not forget about monitoring and adjusting. Schools should continually assess the effectiveness of their PBIS strategies and make changes as needed. This ensures that the program remains relevant and effective over time. So there we have it, folks. PBIS isn't just a strategy, it's a mindset shift. It's about creating a positive school environment where every student feels safe, supported, and ready to learn. And remember, effective implementation of PBIS can transform a school's climate and culture. In PBIS, data isn't just numbers, it's the compass that guides our decision-making. Now, you might be wondering, what kind of data are we talking about? Well, in the world of PBIS, we're interested in data that gives us insights into student behavior. This could be as simple as the frequency of certain behaviors or as complex as the correlation between behavior and specific variables like time of day, activity, or location. Data collection in PBIS is a continuous process. Like a diligent detective, uh, we're always gathering clues, piecing together the puzzle of what works best for each individual student. Take, for instance, a student who frequently disrupts class. By collecting data on when and where these disruptions occur, we might find that they always happen during a specific subject or at a certain time of the day. This data then helps us to pinpoint the problem and develop interventions tailored to that student's needs. But data collection is only half the story. Once we have the data, we need to analyze it uh, to make sense of what it's telling us. This is where the real magic happens. By studying the data, we can identify patterns and trends 
we can measure the effectiveness of the interventions we've put in place. We can see if the frequency of disruptions has decreased, if the student is more engaged, if the classroom environment has improved. The data also allows us to make informed decisions. We can be proactive, not reactive. We can adjust our strategies based on what the data is telling us, fine tuning our approach to get the best possible outcomes. It's like having a conversation with the behavior itself. We ask questions, the data answers, and this dialogue helps us to navigate the complex landscape of behavior management. In short, data collection and analysis are the heartbeat of PBS. They give us the information we need to support our students effectively to create positive and productive learning environments. And remember, it's not just about the numbers. It's about the stories those numbers tell, the changes they reflect, the progress they measure. Data, when used effectively, can be a powerful tool in supporting positive behavior. Bias is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's a tiered system of support designed to meet the unique needs of each student. This system is divided into three levels, each with its unique goals and interventions. Let's start with the first level, the universal support. This tier is all about prevention, creating a positive school environment where all students feel supported. Here, we focus on teaching behavioral expectations, setting clear rules, and recognizing students when they meet these expectations. Moving up a level, we find the targeted support. This tier is for students who need a bit more guidance. These are the students who might be struggling despite the universal supports in place. In this tier, we provide small group interventions such as social skills groups to help these students navigate their school day more effectively. Finally, we reach the intensive support tier. This level is for the small percentage of students who need individualized and intensive interventions. Here, we might use one-on-one -on -one counseling, behavior plans, or other specialized supports to help these students succeed. Each of these tiers is essential, and they all work together to create a comprehensive, inclusive, and supportive environment for all students. The beauty of the tiered system is that it's flexible. As a student's needs change, they can move between tiers, ensuring they always have the right level of support. The tiered system of support ensures that all students receive the help they need when they need it. PBIS isn't confined to the four walls of a classroom. It's a community effort. Now let's delve into the crucial role of family and community engagement in positive behavioral interventions and supports. Think of the PBIS approach as a garden. The school plants the seeds of positive behavior but without consistent watering and care from families and communities, those seeds might struggle to grow. Family and community engagement not only reinforces the principles of PBIS, but also ensures that these standards extend beyond the school gates. Imagine a student who is praised for being respectful at school and then again at home. This double reinforcement creates a powerful message. Good behavior is valued everywhere, not just in school. This consistent reinforcement across different environments helps to cement positive behaviors, making them a part of the student's identity. But how can we engage families and communities in PBIS? It starts with communication. Schools need to actively share the principles and expectations of PBIS with families and communities. 
This could be through newsletters, workshops, or parent-teacher meetings. The aim is to ensure everyone is singing from the same hymn sheet when it comes to behavior expectations. Moreover, schools can invite family and community members to become involved in PBIS activities. Uh, this could be through volunteering, attending PBIS events, or even contributing to PBIS decision-making processes. By doing so, we not only strengthen the PBIS approach, but also build stronger ties within our communities. When families and communities are engaged, PBIS becomes a way of life, not just a school program. PBIS and social emotional learning go hand in hand. They are two sides of the same coin. As we dive deeper, into the world of positive behavioral interventions and supports or PBIS. We find an incredible synergy with social emotional learning, often referred to as SEL. These two educational strategies are like dance partners, each enhancing the performance of the other. Let's draw this connection a bit more clearly, shall we? PBIS is a proactive approach to establishing the behavioral supports needed for students to achieve social, emotional, and academic success. On the other hand, SEL is a process through which children and adults understand and manage emotions, set and achieve positive goals, feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain positive relationships, and make responsible decisions. Do you see the connection? PBIS and SEL are both focused on building skills and character traits that will help students succeed in life. But how does PBIS support the development of these social emotional skills? Well, PBIS provides an environment where students feel safe, respected, and engaged this nurturing environment is the perfect soil for the seeds of social emotional learning to grow. When students feel safe and respected, they are more likely to open up to new experiences and ideas, including those that challenge their social and emotional growth. In a PBIS environment, students are also taught explicit behavioral expectations. These expectations often align with the core competencies of SEL, such as responsible decision-making and relationship skills. For instance, a school might implement a PBIS rule about treating others with respect, which directly aligns with the SEL competency of social awareness. Moreover, PBIS doesn't only focus on addressing problem behaviors, but also emphasizes the reinforcement of positive behaviors. This approach encourages students to practice and adopt behaviors that contribute to their social emotional growth. In a nutshell, PBIS and SEL are not separate entities, but rather parts of uh, a comprehensive approach to student development. They are intertwined each supporting and enhancing the other to help students become more well-rounded individuals. Through PBIS, students don't just learn about academics, they learn about life. PBIS has a profound impact in special education settings, fostering inclusion and respect for all. It's not just a buzzword or the latest trend in education, it's a comprehensive research-based approach designed to promote positive behavior and create supportive learning environments for all students, including those with unique learning needs. When it comes to special education, PBIS shines brightly. It recognizes that every student is capable of learning and behaving positively, but some may need additional support or different strategies to get there. This is where PBS steps in, providing that scaffold, that bridge to success. Imagine a classroom where students with diverse needs are thriving, not just surviving. 
that's the power of PBIS in special education. It shifts the focus from what's wrong with this student to what does this student need to succeed. By focusing on strengths rather than deficits, it nurtures a positive mindset in both students and educators alike. PBIS in special education is not a one size fits all solution. It's tailored to meet the individual needs of each student. It's about understanding that um, a student with autism may need different supports than a student with ADHD. It's about creating a safe, supportive, and inclusive environment where every student, regardless of their abilities, is valued and respected. Implementation of PBIS in special education involves collaboration. It's a team effort involving educators, parents, and even students themselves. It's about creating a community where everyone works together to support the unique needs of each student. Um, and here's the best part, PBIS in special education works. Research shows um, that when implemented with fidelity, it can lead to improved behavior, better academic performance, and increased social skills. It fosters an inclusive culture where every student feels valued and empowered to learn. PBIS in special education is about empowering all students to reach their full potential. It's about creating a world where every student, regardless of their abilities, can experience success and thrive in a supportive, inclusive learning environment. After all, isn't that what education is all about? As we wrap up, remember that PBIS isn't just a program, it's a philosophy. A philosophy that has the transformative potential to bring about positive behavior and create a supportive educational environment. Let's take a moment to revisit the key points from each topic. We started with understanding the implementation strategies for PBIS in schools, where we discussed the significance of a systems approach and the importance of clearly defining, teaching, and supporting appropriate student behaviors. Next, we delved into the data collection and analysis in PBIS programs. Remember, data is the backbone of PBIS. It helps us measure the success of our interventions and make informed decisions for future strategies. We then explored the tiered systems of support in PBIS, which are designed to meet the needs of all students. This proactive approach ensures that every child receives the right level of support to thrive. We also underscore the importance of family and community engagement in PBS. Their involvement is crucial in creating a consistent and nurturing environment for the students, both at school and at home. In the context of social emotional learning, PBIS acts as a catalyst helping students develop skills like empathy, decision-making, and problem-solving. These skills are not just crucial for academic success, but life in general. We then discussed restorative practices in PBIS um, implementation, which focus on repairing relationships and uh, resolving conflicts in a respectful and constructive manner. In special education settings, PBIS plays a pivotal role in creating an inclusive and accommodating environment where every student has the chance to succeed. Lastly, we discussed the sustainability of PBIS programs and the role of ongoing training and support in ensuring their long-term success. Remember, PBIS is more than just a tool to manage behavior. It's a comprehensive approach that unites all stakeholders to create a positive, safe, and effective learning environment. It's about empowering each student to reach their full potential. With PBIS, we have the power to shape our schools, our communities, and our future. <laughs>